In this video, I'm going to show you a play out of Trip Side In that will beat every defense in this game. It's a great five out concept that you can use in this year's game when there's really not a lot of great plays out of five out this year, but this will help you beat the blitz. It will also help you be able uh, to just kind of put the defense in a little bit of a pickle uh, just in terms of how they're going to be able to cover everything that you have to bring to the table with this setup. Now I'm going to just set some audibles here, uh, but if you guys are looking to get uh, better, I believe that Trips Tight End is one of the best offenses in the game. So if you want to get access to my full Trips Tight End offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. I'm going to put a link in the description uh, down below that if you want to sign up for that, it's only $10 and it will get you access to everything, all of our ebooks, including, of course, the Trips Tight End. All right, guys, so I wanted to go over this. I think this is really a good play um, that, again, you can use five out with. And, and there, there's a, a key reason right now, uh, anyway, for use, utilizing five out. So we're going to go over PA slot corner. And um, when we think about five out, uh, again, I just it, it obviously starts around man coverage. So let's say, for example, let me just grab DB Sting now that I think about it and show you this out of this first and then we'll get into kind of them dropping coverage in just a second so again pa slot corner i'm in the detroit playbook this is probably my favorite play in the game and so basically it looks like this and then chances are they're going to man up white on the running back and they're going to user uh levante david here so the setup is basically this we're going to wheel our running back we're going to uh, streak, uh, Guyton, our uh, middle trips receiver, and then we're going to drag our tight end, and then what I like to do with this uh, backside guy is put him on a smart routed end. So this creates this this alignment and this concept. Now, if you take a look here, you're going to see that they're kind of out leveraged both to the tight end and both to the running back. That's where the mismatches are. So if you get blitzed from these nickel corners here, all you're going to do is just snap, get the ball out to the running back quick. That ball is really hard to intercept. Really the only way to intercept that pass um, that I'm aware of right now is to basically guard um, or to man up this, the blitzing corner onto the running back. So if they do that, obviously we don't want to throw that. But if they don't do that, um, this is a really, really safe play um, that can kind of put them in a little bit of a bind. So again, you're just looking to the right. If that corner blitzes on the right side, you're basically just pass lead outside of the running back. And you can see how you get this little animation. And I'm telling you right now that snap throw is like really, really important in this year's game because it forces them to have to get out of pressure. And that's really the, the, the real key of this is we want to be able to send five out in certain situations and we still want to be able to be, beat the blitz. So in this example, it's a it's basically a hot read. Now, I want to show you a zone blitz real quick, and then we'll get into some of the coverages. Um, so let's say that they play zone, and they're going to shade down. They're going to put a hard flat here, you know, and then they can drop this guy into a zone, right? This is DB Fire 2. It's very similar. Um, I believe 146 is better than Dollar, and if you want to know why, get the 146 ebook um, that's in our Patreon. It's just I just think it's get better pressure than Dollar. But anyways, um, so I've got a hard flat over here on the right side, right? So I'm just going to snap, pass lead outside, throw, and you see how I can get actually better gains against a zone than I can against man. Again, what do they have to do? They have to put the blitzing guy, the guy that is blitzing you, the, the solution to their five-man pressure, they have to put him in into man coverage onto that, that running back. It's the best way to stop it, okay, that I'm aware of anyway. So now we kind of have shifted – what they have to do defensively. Now, again, in Madden, what I love about the game, whenever you start to play some really, really good players, they're not just going to blitz you every single play, right? They're going to, if, if you show that you can beat the blitz, they're going to now play coverage defense, and you have to have reads for those situations within your plays. So that's where this the, the rest of this concept and the rest of this play, you know, really come in handy. So the main route on this play, obviously, is the corner route to the right or to the left. But we also have a lot of other things that is really good about this play. Let me first talk about man coverage for just a second. Notice who's guarding who in this in this defensive play. The slot corner is not guarding the running back, right? So again, if I look out here in that slot corner, see there they switch. And now I can throw my drag to my tight end. 
man switches, uh, when they do a man switch, they kind of freeze for just a second. And when you have a quick crossing route like that drag route, it's really, really effective. So now what they have to do defensively, um, now what they have to do defensively, let me get my, let me get uh, my linebackers back to where they're supposed to be. So again, you have to understand, they're probably going to use her this defender right here, okay? So now what they have to do is they're, they're starting to have to adjust their coverage because of our quick hitting reads that also beat the blitz. So, you know, now we're in a situation where, okay, you motion over here, and now you see that this is the basics of the coverage. And really what they're going to have to start considering to do is at least dropping a zone to the right side. And if you look at this play art here, there's really not a good, um, there's not a good candidate to do that with, okay? So chances are they're going to use her, they're going to use her the tight end. So I'll try to illustrate that with this little adjustment. So they're going to use her the tight end to the right side of the screen. They're still going to get this man switch, but now our corner route is going to be in a lot better position to be able to basically beat man. Right, our corner route now has more time, of course, to work. If you have uh, a good, good receiver there, uh, chances are you're going to have a, a decent chance at that corner route beating man to man. So now they're going to lurk the drag, and now they're going to have to throw maybe this guy, for example, on a purple to stop the corner route. They're going to have to do something um, to stop the corner route, and what that's going to leave is it's going to leave our backside in route. Um, that is probably one of the most consistent routes this year for beating man. Um, you see right in that little pass lead area, right in that little pocket. Really effective. Now, I forgot to put my running back on, uh, I forgot to put my running back on a wheel. You can block your running back, by the way. If you really want to block your running back, um, you know, you certainly can. You know, but now they're kind of in a position where now they have to drop a, an underneath zone here. They're going to drop. And this is obviously a drop eight coverage. So, you know, kind of keep that in mind uh, through all this. Most people don't drop eight this year. Most people are going to at least blitz four. Okay. So, anyways, you have a concept. And here's kind of the basics of the play. This right here is basically the best way that I know that they can stop this. But you notice that that in route will continue to run. It doesn't get matched by the hook curl. So he has space to work. Now where this play also really shines, in my opinion, is zone coverage. So when we get zone coverage, this is a natural, it's basically a sale concept um, or a flood. It's not technically a flood play, but it kind of is. Uh, but anyways, what you're gonna see here is now um, this corner route is wide open against the zone coverage. Really effective, really easy to beat. Uh, zone coverage. There's really not a zone in the game that is going to be able to stop the corner. They're going to have to either do some bracket coverage where they man up the corner route and they drop zone coverage out of this, or you know they're going to have to go user the corner. This is very difficult to stop this corner, especially when your trips is to the field. Um, so you see there, oh, I got shedded, but you saw how, how open he was. Now, another thing that I want to quickly point out about, um, about zone coverage is the ability that you have this year in my opinion zone is good but it's it's you have a lot of holes um and so as a passer you're still going through your progressions look right not there look left not there but now i've got my dig and i've got my corner route both beating you know kind of a basic cover three cover four cover two so you're able to really do a great job uh against zone coverage now the last coverage that I wanted to go over with you guys is kind of a variation of a match defense. This is um, this is kind of similar to uh, cover four quarters. It's a little different, uh, but it is kind of similar. And what you should have with this play is it's it's really kind of more similar when you have this type of formation. It's going to be more similar to two by two. But you'll see here that my dig route is normally pretty wide open. The drag was open. I have a lot of stuff against match. Uh, again, this year you want to call, call plays that are versatile, that can beat every coverage. But not only can they beat every coverage, but they can be able to beat coverages quickly is really, really important this year. Guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope that this helped you in some way. If you want to learn more about Trips Tied In, make sure you're in our Patreon. Um, our full ebook is there. They get out, Patreon members also get access to all of our ebooks. 
and I believe that we're dropping our 10th ebook early uh, next week. So really excited about that. We got 10 ebooks. All of them are all of them are also subject to update as the game shifts and changes. Um, and I think our next update is going to be probably, uh, like I said, next week. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to join our Patreon, it's only $10 and get you access to everything. The link is down in the description below.